Alright guys, we're going to do an oil painting. I took the reference photo for this back when I was in Montana in August this year and I've been wanting to turn this into a painting. So today I'm using oil paint. This is my palette here. Our colors for today, I have a bunch of colors and I'm not sure if I'll need everything, um, but we have burnt umber, French blue, violet, cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, Naples yellow, this one's Naples yellow reddish hue, yellow ochre, pale rose blush, or like a flesh tint color. This is a lizard and crimson. This is magenta. This is light cobalt blue. This is a little bit of burnt sienna. This is ultramarine blue, ivory black, phthalo blue, titanium white, sap green, verdigris, phthalo green, and this one here is my indigo blue. So we got a bunch of colors there. I'm starting with an 11 inch by 14 inch canvas panel. I put a dark wash on this one a long time ago. I probably made this wash a little too dark and it does have a little texture from the brushes. Uh, so we'll see how that plays into this painting we're gonna do today. I have some citrus solvent paint thinner used to thin down my paint. For brushes today, we have a filbert brush, round tip, semi-round brush. We have a flat tip brush. Uh, this is another flat tip brush, number six. Got another flat tip brush, number four. And then I might just use one liner brush for the little bits of the bark on the birch trees, but that, that should be all the brushes we need today. All right, to get started, I'm just gonna dip my paint brush in the paint thinner a little and Take some white and a little bit of my indigo, a little bit of my Naples yellow reddish. Maybe a hint more of that color. And I'm just going to block in everything on this side is this lighter color. Just taking some pure white here, locking that down. And then I want to take a little bit of phthalo blue. Just keep taking a tiny dab and I'm mixing more onto the canvas there. I'm going back and forth with this. Just making my sky look a little more blue. Uh, in my reference photo, there was a lot of wildfire smoke in the air, so we didn't get a lot of blue. And I'll take a little bit of Naples, blend that in there too. And I'm pressing very gently here to try to get a nice soft blend. Keep it from getting too streaky. A little more Naples. And then we're going to switch to our number four flat tip brush. Dip that in the water a little. Now we'll start to mix a little bit of ultramarine and some phthalo. And a little bit of the pale rose blush color. Can lighten it up by mixing a little more white in there too. And I'm just going to start to add like jaggedy looking pine trees. Just very lightly pressing here, kind of letting this blend a little into the background. Can mix a little more ultramarine, maybe a little bit of umber in there too. Let's make sure to keep that phthalo. Just 
Just going back and forth. Starting to build up the sense of distance back here. And we'll mix a little bit more thalo and white. Or down here. It's kind of lighter and a little hazier. I mix a little sap green in there too at the base. And then you can mix a little more phthalo with your brown and whoop, and your phthalo green with a little bit of indigo maybe, just darken it up more. A little bit of pink too to mute that color down. Yeah, you can just keep mix a little brown in there. Just keep building up the trees. And then we're going to take some sap green with our indigo. And we've got some plants that are much closer in the foreground here. Like tall grasses, bushes. It's totally covering up what we had in the background. You don't want to leave too much, you don't really want to leave any um, blank space there in the canvas. Alright, we're taking more, take some of our dark verdigris color, a little more phthalo blue. We can use this under here, just build these up, building up the shadows. This isn't really the focus of the painting, so we can squeak by without too much detail here. We have a lot of leaves on the trees, so I just blended some white with the color I had. I'm gonna mix that dark verdigris again. And let's mix some of this cobalt. Maybe with a little phthalo blue. Alright, and then we'll just go here and start to add. Very gently pressing here to cover up this white space. Putting tiny little dabs with the brush. I think at this point, this is a good time to just quickly uh, sketch in my. Oops, I had some red on that brush. <laughs> quickly just kind of sketch in the uh, general shape for the tree. So we're going to take some black and white and a little ochre and some Naples yellow, and a little bit of cobalt, and white. And then figure out how thick you want the tree to be. Something like this is good for this one, and we've got another one back behind it that's much thinner. And we're going to put another one right here. Make this one be more like that. And I'm just going to quickly Walk in this color. 
just so I know where the trees are. Again, just blocking in the shape here. All right, so now I've blocked in where the trees are basically. And now we can go back to filling in all this space. Kind of mix in a little magenta down here. Are these ones some ultramarine? It's darkening the shadows down a bit more here. Going right up to the side of my tree. I'll take a little more sap green, brighten some things up here, and we'll do more sap green, some burnt sienna, and our verde grease. All right, we'll go back to our Thalo with Ultramarine and some pink. Do a little bit of crimson. Just very gently pressing here. And we're going to take some more sap green. Put those ones there, and we'll get the space in here. Alright, and then we'll take some more white, ultramarine, a little bit of phthalo, more cobalt. One more white. Get this area up here. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little break from that. Come down here, where we've got some rocks. I'm gonna take some of my. Umber go. Oh, here's my umber. Umber with a little bit of my indigo. And I'm just going to put some of these little rocks.
we got the rocks blocked in. Let's go back to our indigo with sap green. Do a little phthalo green too. Mm, let's do some umber and phthalo. And magenta. A little sap green. There we go. Alright, I'm cleaning off my brush, taking some ochre, sap green, and white. And we're just gonna get these, get this green in here. A little bit of that darker gray green color, Naples, Cobalt. And we'll just bring this down to the bottom. And we'll add a little bit more sap green, umber, ultramarine. Some Naples in there to lighten that up. This is like the edge of the grassy field, and then we start to get into the forest here. We need some more darker colors. I'm going to mix my black with my phthalo green. Let's make it really dark in here. We're going to mix some magenta in there too. And we'll take some more sap green, umber, a little bit of white got blended in. Just going to get the rest of these spaces in between. Mix a little bit of Naples in there. Alright, we're going to mix sap green with our yellow and a little bit of phthalo green. Just to get the little highlight in there. And it's going to get a little bit of grass in here too. Alright, and we're going to take some more ochre, and I'm going to put some of that ochre color up here. I'm going to mix my sap green with indigo again. And we're going to mix some phthalo green in there. And we'll do some more phthalo green with magenta and blue. Let's make that really dark up here. All right, we're about 25 minutes in and that basically completes part one. That's my first session of paint. We're gonna be using the layering method here. Uh, so we're going to let this layer totally dry, and then we're going to come back and finish this with our second session. So I blocked in the base layer of paint this week. Once this is dry, we'll start building up more of the details. Mm -hmm.